Well, boys and girls, we made it here. Shout again, bro, to the Rango, boy. We had a little bit of a schedule, didn't we, boys? Stefan, where the hell are you? I'm here at your boy Lee C. Parts, AKA on YouTube, Scrap Life Garage. What's up, boys? Got the engine out of y'all seen the engine in the back. It's officially out on a pallet, ready to go. We're gonna knock this whole project out in the next two days. I'm in the zone. Give me the throne. One shot, that's all that you got. That's all that I know. What's up everybody, it's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another amazing video. This continues the series here at Lisi Parts of installing or taking apart the Corvette to put in a new engine. Today starts the breakdown. That's what we're doing now. These guys have been hard at work, way ahead of me, and it's almost time for the motor to come out already. Let's jump into it, let's go. Just as a recap, guys, if you didn't see the last video, you probably should take a look at it. It will make a lot more sense about where I am. But I am at one of the most prestigious dismantlers that I've ever seen. They have a YouTube channel, it's called Scrap Life Garage, and what they do is they buy the coolest of cars. Typically, if you can't tell, Corvette, 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 Corvette. Typically a lot of GM, decent amount of Ford, and now they've even gotten into Mopars that they're buying, dismantling, and then selling you the best of the parts from it. Look at this as an example. This is a Gen 5 Z01 Camaro. So you have the Z01 LSA blower, the 6.2 liter engine, headers, this has a pulley on it, cam, underdrive pulley, all of the above. And they're gonna be selling this as a complete unit with the transmission. They're gonna clean it up. They're gonna do a leak down compression test to make sure it's perfect. It's easy to see why I decided to bring my baby here to my boys because they're gonna help me. Basically, they are not installers. They install very, very well because they do it as their profession, but they do not do it for the general public. That being said, we all homies and we all friends. We race together and the people that race together, what do they do often? They end up working on cars together. They stay together. This stuff breaks and needs to get fixed and all that fun stuff. Basically, man, shout out to my guy Austin here, who's been hard at work. I see you, brother, hands on yourself. Yeah. Doing it. Gotta, gotta get stuff done, man. Man, getting your own hands dirty. I love it. So we got my C5 Corvette here in the air, man. What's coming out is a blown LS1, was a cammed 243 head, um, LS6 intake, all that good stuff. And what's going in is a six liter forged block, LS3 head, LS3 intake. Nice, just upgrade all the way around. And I have this motor built by Greenlight Customs down in South Jersey. What we're doing right now is taking the car apart. Now what, a lot of people who know what they're doing, what they do is they actually drop the front and rear cradles. So you have a rear cradle and a front cradle, right? Which are typically about four bolts that are held in. They hold the engine and then they hold the transmission. And then what they do is they put like the car on rollers like this. They loosen everything up and then lift the body off of the car. It is the coolest thing. And you guys are about to see that happen right now in this video because they've already loosened everything from the top. We're gonna skip to when that's happening in three, two, one. All right, boys, we about to start bumping the body. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Hold on, let me let y'all see. Alright, check that. Motor's already coming down. You that see that? Like dropped on anything, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's actually good. This shit is so cool. We're taking out all my old nitrous setup. Now, I'll be honest with y'all. When I put this nitrous in this car, I was probably working a job that I might have been making forty thousand a year, maybe. No, 
No, probably about 60,000 a year. And let me tell you guys, when you have a car payment and you're trying to buy parts and you're trying to go fast and you don't make a lot of money, you do Mickey Mouse shit. Back then, I did Mickey Mouse shit to this car. My nitrous kit was definitely installed Mickey Mouse style. I, I got decent parts, but the install was Mickey Mouse. You know, there's been different times where I had a, a small fire one time in this car from a nit from a nitrous backfire. Really? And uh, that's why in here, all this dust, that's fire extinguisher dust here. Look, that's what this is. Now, this is stuff I can never get to because the motor, everything was in the way. But now that we're taking this shit out, I'm gonna probably dump some water, clean this up, because I'm gonna have access yeah, to it to finally. Listen, uh, I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. A lot of people would hide this shit. Me, I'm honest. Like, but we don't have to do Mickey Mouse shit no more. <laughs> now, as an adult <laughs> who, you know, could afford to do a couple things due to the YouTube channel and that stuff. I don't have to do Mickey Mouse stuff anymore. We're doing it right this time. <laughs> Still was a very nice, you know, car overall, but I kept it clean. <laughs> I kept it clean, the body. I kept the interior clean. But as far as my ability to buy like the best of the best and have it installed by the best of the best, that didn't happen until I got older. See, there's a benefit to being old, man. You could do more <laughs> Wow, we keep bumping it up little by little, guys, and we coming up some more. Oh, well, the brake line should stay with the car, too. They're just going to hang down, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I figured. But the mufflers just slide out. They're just a rubber hanger. That you, like, they can just coming slide out back. nice, Yeah, guys. I just, oh, they, I see what you're saying. They start to become a pain in the butt. We looking good. Yeah. Uh, looking good. Look at this. Y'all see this? Everything just coming out. Look at this. Is everything just dropping? Of course, of course, extreme exhaust, boy. I'm saying Corsa, Corsa. Oh, no. What? Going all the way up now. Let's go! Clear? Yep, I'm good, guys. <laughs> that boys Boom. motor <laughs> transmission everything is out amazing I know that looked fast but that was hours <laughs> that was hours but you know that's video editing magic to, to make it look like these guys are just the ultimate superheroes although they are superheroes don't get it twisted we looking good man we looking good so now it's just a matter of detaching this Oh, God. Swapping it over. Like, Are these <laughs> <laughs> I think a song is in order. It's a, it's a new me coming out. And I got to give. And I want to live. It's simply positive. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. I'm coming. At least that's what the Corvette is singing right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's singing. Pause on the everything else, because y'all thinking about the other type of coming out. <laughs> we not doing that. We got wives and kids over here. So we ain't coming out of shit, but you get the vibe. Hey, look at that. Got the motor. Well, had it on the stand. Already off the stand. Removed headers already. I can tell. Look at that. Spark plug's about to come out next. Take off all the accessories. This is what's gonna happen. We're just gonna keep rolling along, man. Keep plugging away. Jesus. Now, when you say it's locked up, is it locked up? I think so. We're gonna find out. <laughs> That's right. We're gonna try to test it. We're gonna test it and see, but I definitely think it's locked up. I think the motor is locked up. That's what we're talking about. 
look how big it is when you put all the accessories and stuff on and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the new motor how small it looks without all this stuff this man taking the old motor over to buy the new motor so he can start switching shit over you feel me yes sir well, yes sir all right so like i was saying this is the new motor see how small this looks this new motor is going to look like this once you transfer over all the accessories we got some cleaning up to do i had some like slight leaks and stuff no no do your thing man they they, they want to hear you guys more than they want to hear me they know we're, just, we're just talking about if we remember to tighten bolts on the engine stand or not <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> hey, minor know, details. We know you guys got that. We're not worried about details. that at all. Bro, it is so funny. Looking back, like right now, this is the, the cradle, right? And look how sludgy and dirty this cradle was. These are different oil leaks that I had at different periods of time of having this car. Again, when you don't do it right the first time, this is the type of stuff that you run into, right? So now we're, we're doing it right. We're doing it right, right, right. But uh, it's just funny to Jesus, look at all that sludge on the cradle. Man, you don't realize how bad stuff is. Another another example of that is my headers. Let me show you guys my headers. So these headers were purchased probably 10 years ago and they were TPIS headers at the time. They don't even make headers for the C5 anymore. That being said, cause I looked on their website just to see. That being said, when I got them installed, the right way to do it is to, first of all, the wrong way to do it is obviously to go from this size, right? To step down and then back up again, right? That is like the worst. First of all, look at the welds. It's like terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> like looking back, but that was a young kid, Steph. We talking about a 26 year old Steph, you know, a 20, 25 year old Steph that just didn't know any better at the time. I just didn't know. You know, I thought this was okay. And uh, the places I was using, we don't even got to talk about. Obviously it was that bad, right? So what I really want to do is take these headers somewhere. I honestly don't even want to put them back on the car like this. I want to take them somewhere, have them cut here properly, bring it out put a flange on it. There was no flange on here, bro. We had to cut, we had to cut the pipe so that we can get the, the exhaust off and the headers out. Man, it's just amazing. <sighs> I look back and knowing what I know now, I look at this and I'm like, what in the entire hell? <laughs> you know, but it is what it is, man. You know, you come a long way from being a young kid uh, with a really nice car, you know, cause this was a really nice car still is a really nice car but it was a really nice car for me back then but in all honesty you know i was trying to mod on a budget it, you can mod on a budget when you know what you're doing but when you don't know what you're doing you end up with silliness now even with all of that i did a lot of things right you know what i'm saying like for an example you guys see it you know 243 casting on the heads ls6 and like some of the stuff i did right the cam i did right this car made decent power it was pretty quick man it was a quick car i used to race a lot and all i wanted to do was be able to race but i was trying to do it on a quick and on a budget and i was also dealing with you know who shot johns at the time because they were cheap and they could do it quick boy do you pay later and it's funny because I'm paying now. <laughs> All this time later. Look, the cradle is silver again. Can you believe it? Man, it's so much oil that was caked, like fluids and oil and so much was caked on there, man. Jeez, boy, I tell you. Ah, so that explains how you got this car so low. It doesn't even have bolts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The The goal was... I didn't notice that. I heard the guy, the guys were saying something. They were like, man, this thing's lower, like that low on, on stock struts or whatever. And I'm just I like, removed hey, the bolts slam. completely. The sense. goal was to get as low as possible. So much so I even disconnected the sway bar because it was holding it up okay. from being too low. So that was my goal back then. I wanted to be super duper low and I didn't want to buy coilovers because 
was coilovers were two grand, especially if you wanted the FOD coilovers. Remember those? Those things were like $2,600. Yep. I wasn't gonna pay that. They so make the nicest stuff more or less for they do. Things. They make really nice stuff, FOD. Uh, so what I did instead was remove the lowering bolts completely. So I had no bolts. Uh, what I used, what I had in there were pads, but of course, over time, they slipped out. Yeah. yeah, they slipped out. Yeah, there's nothing holding them when they so when we were turning, that's what that noise was, that click, click. It was a, it was it's that. the leaf moving yeah. on the cradle. All stuff that I remember now that I forgot. <laughs> it's like a blast from the past for you. But it's all good though. Uh, I'm gonna raise it up again, you know. Oh, my my hot boy days are done. I just had the racing stuff. You gotta. Yeah, I need I need the American weight transfer. And exactly for racing, you can't have it like this. So. So what do we, I mean? Do vectors? It is it is C six Z O six shocks though all the way yeah. around. I was I was asking about that front sway bar. Do you guys run front sway bars on like drag cars? For they don't. Pets? Yeah, they take them off. Yeah, because I was gonna say I know a lot of guys do that. A lot of guys with RX. But do it like for it now, because the car is gonna be NA, I'm gonna spend my time like going out on drives with the fellas. Yeah. So I need the handling. Make it ride as nice as it possible. Yeah, I need it. I need the handling. So that's why I'm gonna raise it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff, man. This is just the beginning of this project. This car is gonna be super nice when it's done. Guys, we've been real busy, man. Pulled off all the accessories and stuff off of the old motor, and everything is over here, ready to go on to the new engine. I know LS stuff can be a little bit of a headache with moving everything over, but it's actually relatively simple, man. Everything is there for you all laid out. And once you have the old side, then it's easy to see where it goes on the new side. So um, this is all going to be pretty good, man. This is running really smoothly. We're moving along nice. Uh, my old motor, man, we broke it down and we found some gnarly shit, boys. But to see that, you got to go to Scrap Life Garage because they have a whole video breaking down this engine to see what happened, what broke. They're going to show you that in detail. And I'm in that video, too. So I tell my story about the C5 Corvette in that video. Head over to Scrap Life Garage so that you can see their version of what happened to my old engine. Well, guys, we were moving along amazing. As you guys saw, we transferred over all the accessories. In the morning, we were just gonna bolt all the accessories onto this motor and keep it pushing. However, without giving away too much of what happened when Scrap Life took apart the motor, we ran into a serious issue that's stopping us from moving forward at this time. It's late at night, we're still here, and that issue is my oil pan is damaged and we need that oil pan for this engine c5 corvettes have this stupid thing called a bat wing oil pan and a bat wing oil pan specifically is a two-piece oil pan and it they call it a bat wing because it looks like a bat well mine took on damage it is not reusable lee c parts they have c5s here however they sell their motors complete like with that included so they can't necessarily just give up an oil pan off of a complete motor without a replacement. We're stuck, guys. We're stuck here. Not sure what's gonna happen. I really don't know. I really don't know. It wouldn't be real life, right? If it was easy, everybody would do it. And it was going easy, I ain't gonna lie. It was, gonna, it was going really easy. But we hit a serious snag. But we're gonna regroup in the morning and figure this out. See you boys in the morning.